All right, what's up, dudes? And dude hits. I don't know whoever's watching. Anyways, um, I'm gonna do a tutorial today on hair in Cinema 4D. You can actually do a lot of stuff with hair. You can create hair, duh. You can create fur, like furry animals. Um, I guess you can find a way to make a carpet or something. But you, you can also make grass and everything. But um, I'm gonna show you the basics of it and uh, how to make it more realistic, I'll say. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a sphere into the scene they look the best with hair. And uh, now that we have our sphere, you're probably asking, what do you do? You come into MoGraph. No, you don't come into MoGraph, sorry. You come into Character. Wait, I'm just, oh my god. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you come into, you actually come into Simulation. Ignore my first two retarded things. And then you go down to Hair Objects. Add hair. It's gonna add all these little blue lines sticking out onto your object. These blue lines are called guides. They're basically fake hair, so it's gonna give you an idea of where your hair is gonna go and how your hair is gonna behave without not actually having to render. These guides do not mean this is how many hair particles there are. See, I can under my hair object guides I can turn it down to one but if I still want to render that's where all the hair goes which is kinda weird so I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna turn it back up to 200 and if you see if you instantly press play they're all gonna fall down and they're all gonna start uh, kinda waving around and um, you're gonna see now that we have all this hair it's really like doesn't look good at all and um yeah and you can see the hair particles are good um none of the hair is really going through the sphere but a good thing to have here is if you come onto your sphere you right click and you go hair tags and hair collider it's just going to stop the hair from going th through your um object if you once you play with the settings some might go through so it's good that it's not going to go through now it'll bounce off of it and it'll it'll um it'll look better because nothing will be going through um now if we come into our actual hairs tab here you can see our count is only at 5,000 I'm going to turn that up to 10,000 here and now when I render we're gonna get a lot more hair, which is what we're looking for. Um, and then we have uh, all the dynamics here. Uh, these dynamics and forces and all that are just like the gravity. <clears throat> trying to see. Uh, some of these are self-explanatory, like stiffness, drag, mass. Um, I know if you go into the Grace, Grayscale Gorilla, Gorilla website, um, he he knows all this stuff. I don't really know all the dynamics, but uh, what I do know is if you come into the actual hair uh, material that it gives you, it's all brown, and uh, when we render it, it's not very nice. Uh, so I'm just gonna we're gonna add a couple of lights onto the scene. I'm gonna add one. Uh, to the left of our sphere and in front of it I'm gonna add another one that kind of goes behind it here and the one behind it I'm just gonna add a blue tint to it and then um, when we add also a thing that we want to add is shadow map soft and now when we render it it's taking more time but you can see just from adding the shadow mat soft, I want to show you something. This is this is our hair with no shadows. All right, it's kind of white and ugly. If we put shadow mat soft, it takes longer. But look at the results that we're getting from this hair. 
we have it looks a lot more realistic and everything here uh, this light in the back here just kind of fills up our scene so I'm just gonna turn that up so now it's gonna give us this glow here and I'm gonna take one more light here and I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna just turn down the brightness to like 50 and what's that that's gonna do it's just gonna kind of fill in our our lights down here so now we have overall good lighting in our scene we have realist realistic looking hair it is pretty good <clears throat> now if we come into our um, material here five minutes all right uh, you can change the hair and the hair comes with a gradient from dark to um, lighter brown I'm gonna change this to let's go like an orange like a really bright orange to a lighter orange and then we have our specular here for our hair I'm just gonna turn it down a bit both of them so that um, it's not so shiny our hair <clears throat> and then here's our thickness um, it lets you pick if you want the root is one centimeter thick and then the tip is point one centimeter thick and you can play with this and you can even adjust the curve of how thick you want your hair to be let's say you wanted the front to be like zero and then it to go thicker and then thin again this curve will let you uh, do that but we're just we're just gonna reset to, de to default here and I'm gonna just make uh, this like point seven at the end or one at the end uh, reset I'm just gonna make it one and one for thickness and now when we render you can see our hair is a lot more thick it's kind of like spaghetti strands so I'm not really liking it I'm gonna go 0 0.5 for the end at the thickness and uh, that's better um, I'm not liking the length of the hair so I believe you can change the length in our hair material yeah right here if you check it on um, you go length you can change it to let's change it to not uh, 75% and our hair still could be a bit shorter so I'm gonna go 50% not 80% 50% there we go and that's looking better it's a bit shorter here um, next thing that we can do is with this frizz kink and clump these are the three really neat um, uh, hair uh, options frizz when you click it you can see it kind of frizzes it up a bit so if I just leave it on its default setting and I render it it's kind of everywhere now it's, it's kind of like um, on a humid day your hair is all like frizzy and everywhere it's kind of what it does and you can adjust that so if I want to call like 100% frizz it's going to be absolutely everywhere and it's just going to be like a crazy party going on in this hairball um, so then also another thing is kink the kink kind of um, puts the hair in like all like knotty it like knots the hair I guess I know it's not fun to have kinks in your hair you can see it's kind of all it's kind of wavy and curly and everything and kinky kinky not kinky god I can't really even say that anyways moving on and you can see what that does you can play around there's also a curve that you can play around in case you want um, the ends to be like wavier or something I don't know it's all up to you and then clump clump basically uh, clumps bunches of hair together um let's see if i can find it where's that tighten that tightens the hair together no i believe it's clump clump percent let's do like e5 clump percent radius 20 
twist 57 I don't know then we when we render this you can kind of see there's uh, bunches of hair coming together it's not that noticeable right now so I'm just gonna crank uh, the clump and clump amount and all of this back up together I'm just gonna let it play again it's gonna fall down here just gonna wait and that looks good and now when we render it ah right here now you can see you can see all our hair is clumping together kinda it's all coming in bunches and different kinda bunches and then um I'm not sure why you would want to have this effect maybe actually honestly I don't know but um this is good uh, <clears throat> if you notice our hair looks very realistic too and it has like this shine from our backlight our fill light down here is filling in uh, the bottom area and then our front light is filling in this seat this side of the sphere and the hair very good I'm gonna take off the clump I'm gonna put kink and frizz back on I'm just gonna lower them down a little bit Uh, there we go and um, now when we render it kinda like a crazy look to it um, another thing on here is length oh I think it's under length if we go like a gradient V black here, white here, I don't know, let's see, yeah, um, under length, if you put a gradient in our scene here, it's basically going to say to um, the hair particles, or if they're, wherever it's black, don't um, put hair into the scene and whenever it's white that's where I want hair in the scene so I'm just gonna do a little strip like this so if I did it correctly we're gonna have one strip of hair all the way around yeah now you can see it's kinda like a weird grown mustache on this hair on this sphere sorry and you could also change this to go the other way so you got it uh, going around the other way it's kinda funky um, so even if we just do it when it's like this, it's, it's like a mohawk. It's pretty cool. And you can also use that to, uh, spots that you want your hair. You put it like radial, so you, you put box, whatever box looks like, you'll have like a square thing of hair. Yeah, see, so you got weird shape. And, um, that's good for, uh, when you're doing the... When you're trying to position here anyways um you can play around with all the settings but that's basically uh all the options for hair and everything to make it look good um if you want a tutorial about how to make grass i'll make one just leave a comment about it um subscribe if you like this tutorial like it if you liked it and um come check out our, our channel we got a lot of um free stuff we got intros we do giveaways, we have backgrounds, um, we have a lot of good modeling, we have speed arts, if you like speed arts, we have all the good stuff. Um, come check it out. I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed with the content that we have on it. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later. Peace out.